Hey y'all, welcome to the Daily Draw. Uh, right about now, you are probably either thinking, who is this character that we are drawing today? Is this a Pokemon or is this a Sonic character? Or you are thinking, holy crap, is that Cosmo? I haven't seen Cosmo in years. <laughs> why Why in the world are we drawing Cosmo today? Um, to be completely honest, I woke up this morning with every intention of drawing to call, you know, since I drew Chaos Zero yesterday. Um, and then I remembered Cosmo. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, the the time of my life in which I watched Sonic X, uh, specifically the Metarex arc, was not the best time in my life, so I don't remember an awful lot of details, but I remember loving Cosmo, and um, I, I know, I started sketching, and the more I thought about her, the more I remembered just how much I liked Cosmo, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say that the Metarex arc of Sonic X was an especially good show. I'm not gonna say it wasn't derivative of other things. I'm not gonna say it was even good sci-fi. I honestly don't remember that much about it. I was pretty young when I saw it. Um, I remember really, really being engaged with the storyline, thinking the stakes were incredibly high, um, and I, I really remember Cosmo. I, this is one of the characters I cried about, guys. Like, I sobbed about Cosmo. Um, spoilers for Sonic X Season 3, if that's something you're worried about having spoiled for you, but... So, Cosmo is... Um, the sole survivor of their species, uh, they deal with this internal struggle of knowing that they, what their species stood for was ultimately peace, but knowing that she doesn't want to, I don't know, start her species anew, uh, you know, since she's a plant and that's a thing she could do, until she knows that it is a safe space. So, you know, she knows that anyone... The entire universe isn't getting me murdered, you know? She she literally sees a being come into existence that can destroy entire planets by consuming their hearts. Um, and on a personal level, she wants vengeance, even though she knows she should be seeking peace. And it's something she actively struggles with, thinking that she is a bad person, that she's not worthy to be the one that survived because she's having these thoughts of revenge. It's a weirdly deep plot for a Sonic show, I don't know. And again, I I might be a little over-exaggerating how deep this plot was. I tend to do that with things I'm nostalgic about, because I don't really remember what happened in the show. I just remember how the show made me feel, what kind of things the show made me consider. But I'm I'm pretty sure there is a point in which Cosmo, like expresses that you know she she feels bad about wanting to to kill the main villain of this arc and um i'm pretty sure what happens is that sonic says you know i will i'll take that burden for you i'll be the one to end him and it's this moment that was just like why is this in sonic x why is this what i'm watching right now but i don't know it was really really cool as a kid i still have um like I said, a lot of emotion about Cosmo, and you don't see Cosmo, like, at all, you know? She was in the part of the show that was commissioned by four kids, so they'll probably never bring her back, but there you go. I'm bringing her back, so thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, y'all. Boy.